All right, bitches, I wanted to include this little clip at the beginning of this video because I am hosting a giveaway in this, but I hid it somewhere in the video. So good luck on finding it and good luck with the entries. But don't be leaving a timestamp down below because I will disqualify your ass real quick, okay? Mm -hmm. Bye. Hey, bitches, welcome back to my channel. I am sitting here with... Hey, Paige. Oh Hi. my God, welcome back to the States, girl. You know how to. <laughs> we, we can't get rid of her now. She came the one time and yeah, now she's like, it. I'm not leaving again. That's it. Girl, there's some drama. Okay. <laughs> I can't. There's always drama. Jeffree Star is in it again. And if we don't talk about it, bias. Of course. <laughs> so we are sitting here to talk about the mystery boxes that he came out with, the $20 ones. Yeah. So far, there hasn't been any issue with the larger ones that I've seen, mm -hmm. which is shocking because every time Jeffree Star releases a mystery box, there seems to be something that goes yeah. wrong with it. But people are not happy because there were stickers, girl. Okay. But to clear that up, on the flyer, it said there was going to be an exclusive cosmetic item. Yes. Which stickers are not a cosmetic item unless you're like a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I'm going to put them on my face. I'm going to look cute. It's going to be fine. Whatever. Yeah. Now, I think they should have been temporary tattoos. Yeah, a lot of people said that. They thought it should have been like temporary tattoos because then at least it would qualify as cosmetic because mm. it's something that's going to be going onto your skin. Yep. Something that's going to stay there, etc. Um, I think, honestly, I think... It's, a, it's it's not what people signed up for. How do you feel about mystery boxes though? Like, do you? I don't have a problem with mystery boxes, but my issue is with mystery boxes is I know that it's the stock that they couldn't sell. Mm. And I feel like if companies are just upfront about the fact that these are going to be like randomized boxes of what we've got left, bitch. But as long as you got the money, you can get the cosmetics and fiber. Don't sit there and say it's our premium items when you know for a fact it's just the ones that aren't selling that yep. well, and that's fine. I mean, if you're a person who can't afford to buy conventionally all of these products at once just having them will make you feel great mm. but just be up honest and upfront with the people and yeah. just say that that's it is what it is there's nothing wrong with a mystery box but if there is a mystery box then at least tell people that it's going to be mismatched it's not like going to be all our premium best items because i think that that's the issue that jeffrey stars come across every single time that he does release a mystery mm. box because every time he does it people are like what the hell's this? Yeah. And this is not the first time that Jeffree Star has had a mystery box mishap. It happens every, every single, single time. time he releases a mystery box, um, whether it be like summer or Halloween or whatever. Every single time he does a mystery box, there is an issue. People are now documenting and like making entire pages and threads on Twitter <laughs> of every single time people have had issues with Jeffree Star mystery boxes. The, there was one time when you turned around and said that you were going to have different uh, items in each tier and then next thing you know, people will be receiving multiple items because they were buying the top tier, the second tier and the third tier and they were like, hold on, we've got a bunch of doubles. the same things. Like this, These are the things that just keeps happening with Jeffree Star every single time. I remember the time that they said that there could possibly be a palette Yes. In boxes and nobody received a palette. Yes. I think like maybe one person got a palette. It was, wasn't remember. it supposed to be like the, the, what is it, True Blood, Red Blood? Yeah. Yeah, palette. Was and it? it was like a handful of people who received it. Girl, that was bad. But people are upset with him now because of the way that he handled the situation at first. Now he has come forward and he has corrected it by basically refunding everyone for the mini box, $20. Yeah. And they are going to also receive their box. But he went off on a girl on Twitter. Yeah, that was and made cute. her made her feel bad because like he's like I showed your tweet to the artist of these stickers. He spent a lot of time basically worry about yourself, which not cute, not nice. Um, I was having this conversation earlier today with Jay Conse, mm. and he was basically saying to me, he's like, why would you show the artist negative comments about his art? It's like. I would never go to you and tell you all the bullshit that I've heard about you on the Ooh, internet. You know? Do you get what I mean? Like, That's a video. <laughs> That's a fun one. Like, That's a thumbnail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like, I wouldn't go to you and tell you all the negative things that I've heard about you on the internet mm. and vice versa. It's not It's not productive. In fact, it's counterproductive. It's not going to help anybody else in the long run. So why would you even do that? I don't believe that he did that. I don't think he did either. No, I don't believe that he did that. I think he would have said that to make the fan yeah. feel bad. But at the same time, like... If you did, why would you do that? Mm. Nobody would do that. See, because a lot of people are upset with him as well because by him responding like that, it unleashes the fans. Yes. Now, I would be a hypocrite if I sat here and said that um, I've never done something of that nature. Oh, like, I always pop off on people on Twitter, and I know that people are going to see that and come to my defense. Yeah. Even though they don't need to because I can fight my own battles very yeah. well. It's very difficult not to pop off on people. 
I think, I'm learning not to. I know, not I understand very well. that it's like hard to not pop off on people, but I feel like you have to pop off on the right people. Yeah. Like if it's somebody who's like, F you and F your life and you know, hope everything falls apart for you and blah blah blah. Like highlight them, say you're trash. Everyone come <laughs> come find that. Yeah, get up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if if it's just somebody who's just like, dude, it was a sticker, like mm -hmm. that's not the person to pop off on. You need to pop off on the right person. Same way with Jacqueline Hill where she popped off on that one fan. It's like Ooh. you needed to pop off on the right fan. Because at least then it would fit your narrative more, you know? When she told that girl she had crusty lips. I mean... Girl! girl I'm from your lipstick, bitch. <laughs> Let's just talk. That was blood girl and crust because they were just horrible. <laughs> you know who actually had a really good mystery box I saw was Manny MUA. Like, he did it right. So I don't follow Manny MUA. Neither since. do I. I just saw the, um... The, what's it called? The mystery box picture? Yeah. He did actual, like, palettes and, like, lippies and all that. But he also doesn't have that many products. So it's easier to do a mystery box. That's not shade. That's a fact. Um, I mean, fully stocked in Just going to throw that out there. Fully, fully stocked. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I said this on Twitter earlier. You know, not everyone can um, have a collab that sells out. Mm -hmm. We have to say congratulations mm -hmm. to Paige because you sold out of your tea. Mm -hmm. The limited edition. I can't wait to get mine. I'm going to do a giveaway for a little bit of that tea as Thank well. Thank you for supporting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and speaking of a giveaway, I'm actually going to be hosting one. I'm going to put it somewhere in this video so definitely make sure you check it out and i'll just like insert a picture because girl holding all that up is like <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot it's a whole like shane dawson uh type thing but what else is going on you talked about the mystery box mm -hmm. what else well, he added, well basically he made a response video yeah. to it on his instagram was it yeah Hello everybody. Okay, I'm finally home for the day. It has been a really long one. We're just feeding the dogs and getting back um, into our our old house. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> um, I want to come on here for a little bit and just chat and talk. I know a lot of you have already received from, uh, some emails from my brand. If you have not, let's talk about it. So first of all, if you don't care about mystery boxes or you don't care about what I'm about to say, fast forward through them all, girl. This is about the mini mystery box. There was a little discrepancy and an issue that has happened over the last few days. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I've been doing mystery boxes for a while now, and we did summer, right? We had an exclusive liquid lip. And then we did Halloween, and bitch, I pulled some stops out. We had two exclusive liquid lips in different tiers. We had a mystery frost Halloween highlighter. Now, for ho like for holiday, I was like, girl, we gotta do something crazy. So I did a peppermint frost um, skin frost highlighter for the big daddy mystery boxes the middle tier I did a stunning new liquid lip that will never be printed again and then in the mini like before I wanted to do something really cute we've done pop sockets before we've done a metal straw before and I was like okay people loved my artist Davis from the Shane series um, and a lot of you really loved his artwork so I'm like oh my god Let's do stickers. A lot of people love stickers. And a lot of you, now that this has happened, hate stickers. <laughs> or maybe you don't hate stickers, but you hate what happened to get to the sticker moment. So here we go. By the way, spoiler alert, we are talking about what is in some of the boxes. So I'm so sorry if you're like, girl, what the fuck? So a few days ago, we started shipping out the boxes. The minis, we started shipping all of them, of course, at once. But a lot of minis went out. And then I logged on Twitter a day or two ago. And I saw a lot of people that were angry. Jeffrey, on your advertisement for the mystery boxes, the first time you ever posted, it said that every box would have one exclusive cosmetics item. And I had no idea the flyer said that. <laughs> okay, so let's hold on. So I was horrified. I'm like, wait, what? Because other flyers that we had posted said one exclusive item, not cosmetics, just item, right? So, so that was obviously the plan. We knew this stickers were going in there. It was a cute moment. Um, but the very first post that I posted on the brand page, um, that my team posted on Twitter, it did say cosmetic. Oh my God. Can you imagine when I log in? I'm like, so it's the middle of the week. It's literally only been a few days. So as I'm getting feedback from people on Twitter, um, and customer service, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe our team fucked up. So what happened was is the artwork department, used a template from one of the last um, flyers, which was Halloween. So the problem was, <laughs> is my team always proofreads everything. They fucked up. It's life. It's business. Things slip through the cracks. Um, I think what has been really crazy is over the last two days, people are like, 
really being vicious, really coming for us. I'm like, okay, the mini was a $20 box. You get two items. Maybe it's, well, I, see, I, wanna, I don't want to spoil everything, but you get two items and the exclusive, which was the stickers. Of course, if you think, or you're buying it because you think you're getting an exclusive cosmetics item, if I was me, right, I always put myself in like, bitch, I'm the customer. I've been the customer my entire life. I would be living. I'd be like, Jeffrey, hello. That's false advertisement. So, so I was seeing a lot of things like, oh my God, Jeffrey, you're false advertising. You're ripping us off. You're stealing people's money. You said it was going to be this and it was just a sticker sheet. And I'm like, you guys, I wake up every morning. I bleed Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I live for makeup every single day. I wake up passionate, ready to fucking kill it. Makeup and this brand, besides my family, my dogs, and Nathan, my brand is my world. All I care about is making sure that the customer is good, that you guys have the best experience, and you get the best products, the best packaging, the best formulas. So when I was seeing people really like come for me for a minute, I was like, wait, are people, uh, girl, you know I'm gonna make everything right. I need time to investigate it. So I think when people have issues, they jump on like, you need to address this publicly. I'm like, girl, my, I have a customer service team for a reason. So when I saw this become a widespread issue, me, Mark, Leo, and the team that you guys saw in the Shane series, we all had an emergency meeting. We laid out all the options. And for me, I was like, there's only one option. On the first flyer, we did say it was gonna be an exclusive cosmetics item totally our fault, taking full responsibility and, and I'm embarrassed by it. I was like, oh my God, I don't ever want to let you guys down. So to me, there's no other way to make it right. All right, bitches, it is time for another giveaway. I'm going to be giving away all of this, which is the mini controversy, the new pig mirror, as well as the lip bundle right here, a conspiracy palette and this pig backpack. But I have to tell you, this is my pig backpack because my order from the Shane Dawson merch store has not come in. So whoever wins will be getting a brand new one of these, even if I ship this out beforehand, because I know that some people would want to give this to uh, their loved ones for the holidays. So... Just now, you'll get a new backpack. The entries are gonna be very simple. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel as well as Petty Page, and follow both of us on Instagram and leave a pig emoji on our last images that we just did. And this is gonna run until the 14th. I will pick the winner on the 15th, and I will get this shipped out to you. So hopefully it gets to you by the holidays, or Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. But all right, bitches, good luck. All right, except refund every single person who bought a mini mystery box. So a lot of people are, are freaking out right now and emailing like, oh my God, I got a refund. Does that mean I didn't get my box? Oh no, baby. Even if you think the stickers are fucking dumb, which they're not, and Davis spent a lot of time drawing them, I think they're sickening. We did present it wrong. Now, on the website, it said uh, it the correct way. On my Snapchat, I said it the correct way, but the flyer said it wrong. So you guys know I'm not going to let anything go under the so, it was a very large number of people who bought mini boxes, but to me, I don't care about the money. I know people can roll their eyes, but to me, it's never about the money. It's about the customer. It's about the experience, and I just want to create art. I always go back to saying that I just want to create, I just want to play with makeup all day, and I just want to live my dreams, and they have like everything has happened for me, and I just can't believe I'm even in this position. So, what are we doing? Every single person who bought a mini is is getting a refund please i am so sorry it was my fault um and i'm also shipping your box so there's a lot of people emailing and freaking out like oh my god do i not do i still not get my box every single person is getting um a box i'm shipping out of course every single unit we're still doing it we're about like uh, let's say 35 percent of the way already shipped with them um so all week we will ship every single tier i want to take full responsibility and say for me and the whole team we are so sorry about that discrepancy in the advertising we love you guys I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for even listening if you've made it this far. So everyone, of course, is getting their mystery box. Everyone is getting a refund for the mini. Um, and just thank you guys for just making me aware of it immediately. Everybody, this our family is quit. Uh, basically talking about the fact that, you know, his team had had a problem. And like we were speaking earlier, we were saying that like, it feels as if more recently, especially around the Shane Dawson Club kind of time, mm. there seems to be a lot more problems that the team is having. And I just... Needs a new one. I think there's a lot of people who need to not be, not be where they are maybe. I don't know. <laughs>
No, I agree with that. I think that he went into doing too much too soon. Mm -hmm. Because you have the Shane Palace that a lot of people still have not received, which yes. is crazy to me that people haven't received yes. it. I would be very pissed. I, if I was those people, I'd be like, can I just have my Because that's why that my PR went to a completely wrong, wrong address. They sent me two. They sent you two? They sent me two. Okay, so you got two. Mm -hmm. Mine went to a completely wrong address. Didn't even have my PO box details on there. Mm -hmm. We had to chase it up with FedEx. Some old oh, woman no. had it in her loft because she didn't even know what to do with it. Big pink box. Like a big pink <laughs> box. Didn't even know what to do with it. Put it in her loft and then had to get her son to come back at 3 p.m. to come and pick it up because she couldn't get a book. No. Like elderly lady had to get. So I'm, I'm, I feel like there's, there's a lot of problems. A lot of yeah. underlining problems. And don't get me wrong, we're very grateful to receive the palette and it's beautiful. Congratulations on all your success, but I have to keep it 100. I just keep it 100 too. And you know what? Because a lot of people are judging, like drama channels especially, yeah. because we accepted the PR and that obviously makes us like biased and all that kind of stuff because yeah. people, they don't think we're going to say something negative about it. Personally for me, I haven't seen anything negative for me to say about it just looking at it other than I mean, like, said my some thoughts. stuff. Um, but do you think it makes us biased? It doesn't change my opinion. I think, I think the idea that like PR would change our opinion on somebody Some is ludicrous like that. because I don't think that people understand and let's just keep it 100. Mm -hmm. That we earn a decent amount of money. If yes. we wanted to buy the palette, we could just buy the palette. Mm -hmm. Getting it free just means that we get it sooner, we can open it sooner, we can give you the content sooner. It doesn't necessarily mean that, like, just because I got PR from Shane Dawson doesn't mean, like, every Shane Dawson video I'm going to make from now on is going to be a positive, glowing review. Mm -hmm. In fact, my review was not positive. I don't think it was overwhelmingly positive. Mm -hmm. It's still a positive review. But it, I don't think it was overwhelmingly positive. And I was like, one of the few people who still spoke about him and the goddamn cat. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> I did not. When I saw my okay. thumbnail for that cat <laughs> pop up in the video, I was dying. <laughs> poor cat. And I was like, girl, the poor cat. And it was such a good thumbnail, too. I'll we'll put a picture away. Remember it. So, everyone, I think we're done talking about it. Yeah. I think we're done. Think this we're is Petty done. Motherfucking Paige. Uh, She's in the States for a while now, you guys. So, <laughs> find her somewhere. <laughs> so go subscribe. Go follow. All that. I'm still dying of being sick. And I really wish it would go away. But I love you bitches. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace.